so my name is Marco Ivin. I did a PhD in theoretical physics, as did the other founders of Symplectic. And in fact, we started the company having met and shared the same office uh, at Imperial College. The Faculty of Medicine wanted a content management system, and I think they approached Daniel with the idea of writing one. And yeah, Daniel had some ideas, and, and we were all I guess good programmers and, and we were in the same room and that's how Symplectic started. So there's a basic module which will come in and serve your publication needs and then there's extra stuff on top of that, so there's uh, professional activities, there's a repository tools module, so that's the interface between our product and a digital repository which holds the full text versions of whatever you've published. People, people use systems which they're not really happy with. It's, it's interesting for us to try and understand the needs of the university actually and get them to accept that there are different ways of getting the end result and that we're trying to offer them a better way than they had in the past. A few years ago they didn't even know what they wanted out of a system like ours or that they wanted a system like ours even. Uh, they just knew that they were having a lot of trouble knowing what their academics were doing. For about eight years we, we did it all ourselves, we never, we never had an investment or, or we never borrowed money, we started up from nothing. What digital science enabled us to do was actually to enlarge and well, tackle the markets that we're tackling now, you know, like the US, Australia. It's just there. helping you to grow up as a company. That's right, it? yeah, it's supported totally. all aspects of getting larger, so, so internal management of, of people, internal management of finances, uh, all these things. The, the kind of whole framework that they offer around us has been completely invaluable like you know legal support hr support um, just general business and strategy advice uh, guidance that's the kind of thing but they, they they never at least so far have never mandated what we should or should not be doing it didn't feel like we were going to be swallowed into a, a giant machine. That was something um, I was concerned about, yeah. yeah. It felt like we'd get to keep our own identity, but we'd get all the benefits of working with you know, really interesting people. Um, and they seemed really enthusiastic about what they were going to offer and where we fit in with that. It was the, the investment and the trust that they placed in us which actually enabled us to do what we're doing now. And speaking for, for the other portfolio companies, I think they're, they're smart people mm. yeah. that are running these other companies and they're doing some really exciting, interesting stuff. And there are certain days, for whatever reason, maybe it's because a release is coming out or something, there's, there's a buzz in the office, you can feel it, mm. uh, it's nice. Mm.